despite one of the most heated and vitriolic election campaigns in India's history, Mamta Banerjee, it appears, may still come for the swearing-in ceremony of Narendra Modi on the 30th of the month. This is after the Prime Minister called her up and invited her. She says she'll try to be there on a day in which her party, the Trinamool Congress, suffered an incredible setback after 63 councillors and two MLAs crossed over to the BJP, just as the Prime Minister said they would during the election campaign. I'm joined by my colleagues, uh, uh, Rika Roy and Sanket Upadhyay, who've been tracking the story. Sanket, to you first, an important gesture by the Prime Minister, perhaps to indicate that, look, we need to get down to work, and therefore we need to engage the West Bengal Chief Minister. Was that Mr. Modi's goal? Well, if you recall, Vishnu, that even in the case of Cyclone Phoney, uh, the Prime Minister said that he did call the West Bengal Chief Minister, and it is uh, Mamta Banerjee who did not return the call or did not take the call. So on, on the part of the Prime Minister or his office, he always wants to send out this statesman-like message for Mamta Banerjee that he will always be there uh, whenever any business needs to be done. In this case, Vishnu, we must also realize that this is standard operating procedure that whenever uh, a swearing-in ceremony takes place, uh, particularly uh, for the post of the Prime Minister and the Council of Ministers here at the centre, it is, it is mandatory. It is the protocol to call the Chief Ministers of the various states. So it's, it's pretty much in league or in line with that standard operating protocol. Okay. The bigger story here, Vishnu, certainly is that Mamta Banerjee has agreed to come.